Todd Fulton is the wastewater plant manager for the city of Cape Girardeau. The primary responsibility of Cape's wastewater utility is to operate and maintain the system that collects treats and disposes of sewage generated within the city. The sewer division maintains around 225 miles of sewer lines and has a daily flow capacity of 11 million gallons. Todd, how you doing? Good, thanks that, Mike. Those are some big numbers. They are big numbers. <laughs> uh, the city doesn't utilize all of that capacity right now. We okay. are, average flows are around 6 million gallons a day. Um, one thing I'd like to point out is uh, water and wastewater treatment that is one of the original recycling uh, programs that's that's ever been um, and you know city of cape is doing a great job of treating the wastewater probably everybody that's watching this right now is taking advantage of our services so i, I asked you this before if you could explain kind of the difference between like what wastewater and and storm water I, I you know i think some people just see stuff going sure. under the streets they, and they think water, they think, is, they think water. water is water and right. it's all maybe going to the same place so actually in wastewater treatment the the goal of that 225 miles of collection system is to keep it sealed up we don't want the rainwater to get in there and dilute the wastewater stream okay. uh, for one it in, it increases the flow to the um, facility sure so the um, unfortunately, our collection system is not as tight as we would hope for it to be, so we continue uh, improving that area. But uh, as we get a heavy rain, we might see wastewater flows increase to 30 million gallons of water a day at that flow rate. Wow. Uh, and that makes treatment a little bit more difficult. So what's the process of the system as it leaves your home or, or your business? Sure. So generally wastewater treatment is you're gonna flush that toilet at home. Sure. And that material is traveling through the system, makes it to the wastewater treat treatment facility. Um, a lot of our equipment is designed to remove material that just because something's flushable doesn't mean you should really flush it. So we're removing plastic, rags, all of that material is going to the landfill and that is the part that we can't actually recycle. Um, from there, the water goes into a very large basin where it is, uh, the conditions are just right for microbiology to flourish and treat the water. So we're converting it from the waste product that you discharge at your house into um, an actual, microorganism and their waste products. So there's a conversion there that makes it safer um, and then that product is further concentrated and we are making a, a fertilizer that's registered in the state of Missouri. Um, the water portion which is for the most part 99.9% .9 of everything that comes in is water. Um, that is just discharged to the receiving stream and in this instance it's the Mississippi River. So you mentioned the fertilizer. Yes, sir. That's what we have right here, right? That is the fertilizer. And, and this is a, I, so a new plant opened up in 2014, 2015? At the end of 2014, um, we, we started treating wastewater. Uh, it took several years to get the fertilizer production up to where it is right now. And uh, everything that we're bringing in at this point is being dis, um disposed of or utilized as a fertilizer. But this was this was one of the initial goals or you knew this oh, could yes. be a, a, an eventual outcome whenever the new plant was yes, built. Absolutely. Uh, it, even before we were utilizing a fertilizer, not to this level, this is a class A exceptional quali quality fertilizer that I mentioned registered. Uh, well, yeah, it, it is a fertilizer. Um, we're making about 800 dry tons a year, but this can be applied anywhere. Um, whereas before there were limitations that you could only apply it below the surface of the ground and um, on, on certain crops only. And this has been a, um, a benefit to the bottom line uh, right. it's, with the city of Cape. It's a net cost savings for us. Um, and because this, this does get used, uh, I know you have a partnership right. with. And again, it's, it is a uh, almost 100% recycled product. Um, that small portion does go to the landfill, but rags and plastics, things you, you wouldn't fit into that 
category. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the system is is it is it a from house or business to the is it a gravity type system? So the majority of Cape is gravity. We have 32 lift stations and where there's a hill in between your house and the wastewater treatment facility and it can't flow there, we collect it into a basin and pumps further carry it to uh, the facility. But for the most part, it, it is gravity. Okay. Uh, you, you mentioned some of these items, but um, as people are at their homes or their businesses, the, the things that should not make its way into right. the, uh, the sewage system. The, the real simple way to think about it is if it didn't come out of your body, you, you don't want to flush that down the toilet. And toilet paper, for sure, is fine. Uh, flushable wipes are marketed, and uh, we're spending a lot of money to remove flushable wipes. I was going to ask you about stream. those, because yeah. those are at my house, the right. flushable well, wipes. And, and I wish they would market them as uh, throw them in the trash can wipes. <laughs> um, what are you doing throughout the year? I mean, that's we went, what, 225 you know, miles. So what's happening throughout the year to make sure that that, that that flow continues? Sure, so that is that is a continual process. We have uh, crews that are going out scouring the lines. We are also analyzing, uh, you can imagine with that much um, sewer line, parts of it degrade over time. And we are um, either in some places we'll dig it up and replace it, in other places we reline the pipe where capacity will allow to remove the leaks. Um, so, Sometimes you know you, you got a backup at your house, um, and the question is it's a bad day. <laughs> it is a bad day. The question is, okay, is that my responsibility or is it the city's? W where does that line usually end or start, or however you want to so describe that? To the best of my understanding, the the line actually begins where your sewer line connects to the main sewer line. Sometimes that's that's in the street. It's called the Y. Okay. Um, and it, so if, if the clog is in the line from your house to the street, which is a lot of the times where it happens, um, then it is your responsibility. And I would, I would say that y you would probably say our lines are always moving smooth and clean. So uh, We do our best. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Todd, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate your time today.